Good evening. Welcome to KJV Reviews. Tonight I have a very special review of the 1526 facsimile edition of the William Tyndale New Testament. Notice what it says, the first English Bible translated from the original languages. Beautiful. This, of course, is a facsimile. It's not the real deal. There's only a couple of them left, but it is bonded. It's printed by Hendrickson Bibles, William Tyndale, the New Testament 1526 edition. It's got a pretty puny ribbon. Wish I could get that to focus, I'm sorry. But the ribbon here is very puny. I mean, it's almost like a shoelace. <laughs> but this Bible, I love this thing. I mean, it's still, I keep it in the box. I do get it out and look at it every now and then. But what's amazing about this book if you don't know who William Tyndall is, you owe a lot to this man. If you are an English speaking person and you have read the Bible, and even if you've not, the language of English, a lot was done by this man to help standardize the way we talk today. Tyndall was born in roughly four, in about 1490. The exact date is unknown. Well, his family was well-to-do, lived in uh, England, of course, and his family was in a cloth, textile, or wool business. He was born in Gloucestershire in western England toward Wales. It is recorded in history that he came to know the Lord early on in his life, and mastered several languages genuine leather here's the isbn number if you want to try to find this bible you can buy one on amazon or christianbooks.com you can find them relatively easy it's a facsimile but the thing about this book is this is an exact replica on a facsimile so they took the original that one of the originals that remain that weren't burned by rome and made this facsimile edition. So, even though this isn't the real thing, when I'm holding this Bible, I think back to this time when the people of England were thirsty for the Word of God, and this man, God bless his soul, had a desire to get the Word of God printed and translated into the English language for the common man like you and me. And he did it at great peril to himself and it cost him his life. But what does the Bible say? He that loseth his life for my name's sake shall find it. I mean, praise God. But let's take a look inside here. I just wanted you to see it's it's a pretty Bible. Even though this is bonded leather, or genuine leather as it says, it's still nice. I love the spine. That just looks so pretty. But anyways, without further ado. Okay, the New Testament facsimile of the 1526 edition translated by William Tyndale with the introduction by David Daniel. There's a nice introduction in here um, about William Tyndale's life. So if you do not know a lot about William Tyndale, you can always look it up. I'm going to put some links to some things in the description that you can go to and learn more about him if you do not know. But look at this. This is awesome. The New Testament. The Gospel of Matthew, the first chapter. 
<laughs> this is the birth of the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David. I mean, look at this. This is so beautiful. And this is the actual size of the Bible. And look here at this. This is the actual printed, what it looks like. And hardly anything in our version today from the King James is changed from this. Now it takes some getting used to to read this. Look right there, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. Try to lead Timotheus to the saints. So look, at, look at that. I mean, this is this is so beautiful. I would definitely encourage you. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is Christ is born of God. <laughs> I can't imagine the feeling that the common man had when he felt when he had this book in his hands and he read John 3:16 for the first time in his own language for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I mean, just imagine the impact of those words on a man that was beaten down from society by the government, a tyrannical government. Rome ruled England at the time. Thank you, God, for William Tyndale. Without this, we wouldn't have our Bible today. Without this man. And I would encourage you to get one of these Bibles. It's beautiful. Even though, obviously not the real thing, but it's the best you're going to get. Unless you got a lot of cash. But the thing is, this Bible is just a small little pocket-sized Bible. It was a missionary Bible. It was meant to be given to you. Your fellow man distributed. Hey, I have the word of God. Take it, my brother. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't have time to go into everything about William Tyndale. But I would hope that you would look at the links in the description. And go check some of those things out if you don't know who he is. And the contribution that he has made to our modern Bible. Get this here. Here it is. I know it's printed in China. That's a shame. Translated by William Tyndall. It's not seventy nine ninety five. I'll tell you that right now. It's very cheap. But I would encourage you to go get one of these Bibles. Go look them up. I'll put a link to one where I bought mine. And let you know where it's at. Get this out of the frame. Leave this here for you. The William Tyndall Facsimile Edition. God bless.